hello YouTube, James Richardson here from JR Golf Vlogs. Um, it is me, just shaved the beard off. The old coronavirus happening at the moment. None of the barbers are open. Um, looking a bit wild, so I thought it was time I had to go. Um, right, video I'm just about to post up is a video that Ryan sent me after our lesson, uh, Coach Keats. He, um, he sent me just a little recap of what we were doing, sort of highlighting the main things that we, I wanted to work on. Um, which I thought was good. I've only ever had one lesson before in my life, and um, I didn't get a video sent to me after. And after about a week, I forgot all what I, he, he was telling me to do, and it was sort of a waste of time. So I thought it was a good, good idea, of Ryan, to sort of send a video. So then you can always refer back to it if you're sort of struggling in a week or so after you had your lesson. So I just thought it was a good idea, and thought I'd post it up. The quality of the video is not brilliant, I will say. So, um, but hopefully you can sort of see enough of um, what we're just sort of trying to work on, and he sort of compares my swing to Justin Rose so um, I know I'm never going to swing like him and he says that himself <laughs> at least he's honest but um, but yeah he sort of compares it just to sort of show what he does in his swing and what I do in my swing and sort of what I need to improve on really which I thought was a good idea yeah have a little look see what you think right then <clears throat> Al James just going to do a bit of analysis for you I'm going to do this one a bit differently because normally what I would do is I would see send your old swing and then I would send a new swing and show you the differences. But looking at the two videos, I think it's been doing what you've been doing for so long. It's going to take a while to, to visually see anything. You've got the feeling there now. You know what you need to do. I just want to send this to sort of back things up so you've got something to refer to. And what I'm going to do is show you after this. I, I, I'm going to show you um, Justin Rose's swing. Now, I know you're not going to swing like Justin Rose, but for what we're working on, he, he does a really good job and it's a good visual for you to see. Okay, right, so just going to go back through what we worked on then, so what we need to change. So, if we go to the top with your swing, so you see that obviously I've put, I've put lines either side of the hips there, just as an indicator. So as we turn to the top then, there's a lot of space being created. So top of the back swing, there, there's still quite a lot of space um, in between obviously the front, the front, uh, line and your hip it should definitely be tighter because now obviously we're fighting a battle to get the hips back across and obviously what we talked about before with the, the spine angle it's, it's leaning this way and obviously we want it to be more neutral and obviously at some point we want to get you know it, it coming this way so I feel like you're traveling the other way a tiny bit more right and then in time as well we want your left shoulder to be up against this line here um, we want the left shoulder to be on obviously in line with that to make sure we've got a full shoulder turn but obviously as we discussed the head's the head is a little bit of an issue um, and that and as soon as we address that and now the changes and the feels down that we've put in place I'm confident that we'll get there so yeah so there we go then so spine angles the reverse C as, as it's called the reverse spine angle. It's called reverse C because it almost makes a C shape if you see there on the front of front of your body. So we want to get it going the other way. Now and that in turn as well. So when we do eventually get this backswing sorted, it will help your backswing and the court and the sort of sequencing of what it's gonna do. We won't talk about a downswing for now because as I said we don't want to go our heads too messed up with it. Right. Now, I'm going to pull up Justin Rose's swing. Bear with me for a minute. Here we are, Justin Rose. I think that's Phil in the background, hitting bombs, I expect. All right, then. Hit there. Cool. Right then, so let's take Justin through to the top. <clears throat> you can see he creates a bit of space there. Look at his left shoulder though. Look how, look how quickly that's getting across. And look how centred his body's staying. If anything, it's tilting the other way. And that's where we talk about the reverse spine. So, obviously, Justin's spine is tilting that way. Yours is tilting that way. So it's going to make it incredibly hard to play consistent golf from there. Okay. 
So we want it to be more like Justin, and we want, as you see there, as he really, as he gets to the top, even before he finishes his swing, the hips. They're there. Look, look, look at that bump. Look at that bump, right? Boom. So he's there. So that's the top of his backswing, okay? And that's where we want you to get. We want that big full shoulder turn. So you imagine that club we put there, remember? Put a club down here, didn't we? And, and just if I was to draw a line up from that club, <coughs> Justin's full shoulder turn. You got the hip up against the line on top of the ball very nicely. And that's why he's such a consistent ball striker because his hips, everything's just coordinated so good. And as I said before, no, you know, we're not going to get, we're going to have Justin Rose's swing. That's not what I'm getting at. What I'm getting at is for you to have the feeling of what you want to do with that. And what I've just thought about as well, and I it could be a really good concept. So what you, want, what you want to think about is the left shoulder and the right bum cheek. So for you, left shoulder and your right bum cheek. Now I've just been standing in the mirror and just doing it. And I think it might really help you. So get into your golf posture and do a swing to the top, feeling like your left, your left shoulder and your right bum cheek try to get as close as they can but they're resisting each other if that makes sense so you start the left shoulder the right bum cheek starts to go the other way left shoulder keeps turning until you feel like you're getting a really good stretch into your right glute so that's where the weight shift wants to go and it's so we want to get this pressure into the right into the right glute so if you see if you watch if you now pay attention to what i mean with justin so watch his left shoulder and watch his right glute they're going the opposite way from each other, aren't they? And if you if you pay attention to that in your swing, so the left shoulder is chasing the right glute, but it's never going to get there because the right glute keeps turning, you'll get a nice full shoulder turn, and hopefully you won't then tilt the other way. Right, James, hope that helps, mate. And um, as, if you've got any questions or anything you're not sure of, just let me know and I'll try and clear it up for you, mate. Cheers.